Let's go over this example from the homework, but it's one that I will do more than one way. So we want to determine whether or not this series converges or diverges. And with many series, you can use more than one test and arrive at the same result, either converges or diverges. And so to illustrate this, we will do this two ways. First, let's use the integral test. If we take f of x is x squared plus one, well, this function is, certainly it's continuous. This function is positive. And this function is decreasing on, well, let's see. My sum starts at zero, so I will say on zero to infinity. Definitely this is true. It's decreasing because we have a fixed numerator and the denominator is growing. It's positive, certainly, and it's also continuous. So we may use the integral test where in order to figure out if this series converges or diverges, we can calculate an improper integral. This by definition is a limit as B goes to infinity, the integral from zero to B, and we have one over X squared plus one DX. When we integrate this function, we get the tan inverse. Okay, so this is tan inverse of x evaluated from zero to b. And we are almost ready to calculate this limit. We have tan inverse of b minus tan inverse of zero. Well, here we go. Tan inverse of zero, this is zero. It says the tangent is zero, what is the angle? And this is zero, well, the angle between minus pi over two and pi over two. But now this part, this limit, this is one that comes up every so often in calculus two. This limit is pi over two. So this approaches pi over two. This is pi over two minus zero, which is pi over two. This improper integral converges. Now, we're ready to go back to the series. We quote the test and we use the integral test. The series goes j equals zero to infinity of one over j squared plus one. This series converges, but we do not know the value of the sum, and that's not our goal to find the sum. The goal is figure out converges or diverges. So that was one way. Now, let's do another way, just to practice another test. And me personally, I would probably do way two if I saw this just handed to me, for example. Okay, well, this series, I'll recopy it. You notice, what does this look like? It looks like a P-series, but the P-series, um, well, that was what I can't do. I can't start it at zero. I need to start it at one. It would not be defined at J equals zero, but this is a P-series. And we notice P is two, bigger than one, converges. And more than that, we have comparison. So here, this, we have a plus one in the denominator. So we have a bigger denominator. And this means we have a smaller fraction. So it goes this way. And this would be four J bigger than or equal to one. This is the comparison. We have two non-negative series. And this one, term by term, is less than or equal to this convergent P series. By the comparison test, this converges. So you see, I like this example because you see either test works here, comparison test or the integral test. Thank you.